Hello, welcome to The Treasure Box. For anyone new visiting, my name's Wendy. I sell vintage and contemporary jewelry and accessories. Um, I know it has been a while since my last video, I think over two months. Um, both the holidays and a major um, house repair have kind of had, had my attention. Um, but I'm back and I have a table full of jewelry and accessories, so there'll be lots of videos um, coming up. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna start with the uh, uh, museum pieces, uh, museum reproduction pieces. Um, so anybody who has been following me knows that I love the Museum of Modern Art Jewelry. Um, I found these MMA 1987 uh, earrings, gold-plated with red enamel. Uh, post backs um, and most of their jewelry is inspired by things in their collection either actual reproductions or inspired by um, I'm not sure about these um, I did I do really like them a lot and um, I do put um, all new backs on my earrings it's an in inexpensive way to kind of freshen jewelry and I like to use the rubbing alcohol and clean the backs I may eventually get one of those UV lights too just as a kind of an added thing for uh, the post back earrings um, also from MMA is this uh, kind of Celtic, I guess, a uh, silver brooch. And this is an actual, it's uh, actually marked silver, this one. It does come in a kind of gold brass color as well because I have sold that one before. Um, but I was excited to find it in silver. And then we have this little mini brooch. And this one came in three sizes. I think I've had the middle size. And then there's a really large size in one of them. I don't know if it's the middle or the large one, also comes as a pendant too. Um, so this is MMA, I think it says 1985 on the back. Um, and it's a mini, mini brooch. <laughs> it's really cute. And then this one, uh, this was a new company for me. So um, I don't think they made a lot of jewelry, but again, it's a museum reproduction. So it is marked on the back S-P-N-E-A, and that stands for the Society for the Preservation of New England Antiquities. <laughs> and this is from a famous painting by, called uh, To God or Zugat by a painter named Wil Wilhelm van Kolbrick, I think, something to that effect. Um, and it is an angel holding a child. Uh, but I just really love this brooch. Um, so we have that. And then my last one, which is not a museum reproduction, but is reproduction jewelry, is a uh, Camrose and Car Cross, uh, marked JBK on the back, which stands for Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy. Um, so for anyone not familiar with Camrose and Cross, and I'm just gonna put this down, See if I can get this so it stays in place. Um, Camrose and Cross um, was the only company allowed to make reproductions of Jackie Kennedy's jewelry. Uh, so they made uh, quite a few reproductions and they normally came in a blue uh, box. So typically I, I usually find the jewelry in the box in this case, just came by itself, uh, but you'll usually get a blue fuzzy box and then it comes with their certificate of authenticity. And if you're lucky enough, the dance card, which is, uh, basically the details of the event, like where Jackie wore the brooch or necklace, um, who attended it, what the event was for, you know, the different people that were there, the food that was served. Um, so, um, but in the case of this brooch, this one is a little bit more rare. It is a pansy, but this one doesn't come up for sale as often. It's not as common as some of the others. So I don't know if it was just more of a limited production on this one, um, but yeah, I was excited to find this and I love cameras and cross jewelry. So we will move on to, I think I'm gonna go to the finds from this past weekend. I did go to two estate sales this weekend. Um, I tend to only go to a handful a year, but I was uh, looking for a specific uh, piece of furniture and I didn't end up getting it. But anyway, um, I ended up getting some jewelry. <laughs> so uh, I love this one. This is a strawberry necklace. Um, I thought it was more vintage because of the chain and um, just the look, but it does have a lobster clasp. I don't think the clasp was replaced, so definitely probably 1990s. Um, but it is acrylic uh, with set with clear rhinestones. The strawberry is in excellent condition. It's really cute. Um, I love strawberries. They are my uh, favorite fruit. <laughs> I almost eat them every day during the summer. And then um, I actually saw this on the way out. I had already been to the jewelry table. This was at a different sale. And I just took one more pass and I was like, oh my gosh, I think that's Givenchy because I saw the logos. It was on, the clasp was open, so it wasn't like immediately recognizable. I'm just kind of looking at the links and I was like, wait, I think that's a G. I think that's another G. And then like, I didn't, I should carry a magnifying glass with me or a loop and I don't. 
um, but I could see the really small Givenchy mark on the back. Um, this does have quite a bit of wear, um, but I found one that sold for 75 even with this kind of wear on it. So um, I rarely pass up Givenchy. Um, it would have to be broken or something <laughs> um, because it sells really well for me and it sells fairly quickly most times and usually to overseas buyers as well, at least for me. Um, this other piece that I found was a Anne Klein 2 necklace and if anybody knows, because I um, I need to research, I haven't verified. I've sold a couple Anne Klein two pieces, and I don't I don't think they're still made. Obviously, Anne Klein still makes jewelry, um, but the Anne Klein two line, I think that's a, just definitely an older vintage piece. Because those tend to go for a little bit more. Um, lobster class, so definitely '90s or later. Um, this sort of a sun key crescent star pendant marked AK on the back. Um, I just really liked it, and I figured. It would sell well. Um, I'll move on to some of the Sarah Coventry. I really like Sarah Coventry. Unfortunately, her jewelry doesn't usually go for a lot of money. Um, but if I find pieces I really like and they're, you know, affordable, that they're, you know, I can resell them, then I definitely will. Um, so I'm just trying to fix the clasp on this. So this is a um, silver tone leaf link bracelet. Mark Sarah, Sarah Cub. Um, as most of her pieces are. Um, it does have some wear in the raised areas, but overall good condition. I just really like the design. It's almost something that could have been made in silver. It's really pretty. And then this one, which I thought was really fun. It is a, sort of a Sarah Coventry sort of lantern Asian style longer necklace. And it's got the um, hang tag that says Sarah Cub on it. Right, we'll move on to we'll move on to the coins. <laughs> I love coins. That's another thing. If you watch my channel, you'll see I get lots of jewelry with coins. Um, so this is a toggle bracelet, a kind of Greek Roman coins. I just really it does have a lot of plating wear. I like the kind of tree branch toggle. <laughs> I thought that was fun. And okay, and <laughs> there, got it to work. And then uh, on the other side is like the larger, the larger faces. So we've got that. And then I'll move that to the side. And then this one, this one's in excellent condition. Um, it's got the spring ring clasp, so it's it's definitely vintage. Um, also sort of a Greek Roman coin. Um, I think they're the both similar faces on the front and back. Um, just really liked it. No unmarked. And let's see couple more pieces. All right. I'll start with the Luxor one. This one um, I really liked. Um, so this is from the Luxor, which is a um, hotel Vegas, a hotel in um, Las Vegas that kind of has that Egyptian theme going on. I think of it as the Chris Angel Hotel, because <laughs> that's where I think he would always have his, you know, how a lot of the um, different, um, whether the musicians, artists, celebrities will uh, be have a be at one hotel for an extended amount of time um and so chris angel was always performing at the luxor um it's kind of like when he came out on the scene it was like chris angel at the luxor i don't know why i remember this um i've actually never been to the luxor i've been to las vegas um but anyway um i just thought this was a really fun uh necklace uh nefertiti um and when i looked and this also has a spring ring clasp so definitely a vintage um, i couldn't find a lot of jewelry so i don't know if it was just maybe for something special they did there, if it was sold in the gift shop, but they didn't seem to have like a ton of jewelry, but then again, it's not marked on the back. So unless somebody finds it with the rack card, they're never gonna know it came from the Luxor. So that might be why there might be more jewelry floating around, but it just, it isn't marked, so. And then, um, let's see, I got, oh, I realized I forgot this whole pile here. <laughs> Let's start with this one. Uh, the silver uh, orchid brooch. Um, and this is marked 925. It's also a pendant and a brooch. It's got a squiggle mark. I can't figure out who it is. I've tried looking, um, but I just really like that. And then we have this brooch by a company called Miracle. And they um, were, they started in the 1940s in Birmingham, um, England. And now they're based in Cornwall. Um, so all their jewelry is Celtic, Irish, whoops, or Scottish inspired pendants, brooches, kilt pins, that kind of stuff. Um, people really like their jewelry. 
and um, I don't find it too often. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have um, this pendant, which is a cloisonne uh, orchid um, pendant. It does have quite a bit of wear. I just thought it was very pretty. Like that. Let's see what we've got. Let's move to the animals and birds. This elephant pendant by Art Arthur Pepper, and it's marked Art on the back. And um, it does, the elephant's in great shape. The jump ring has, it's basically all the plating is gone on it. Um, I was gonna swap it out, but it's really nice thick jump ring, which I don't see very often. Most of the ones you find in Michael's or supply stores are much thinner. So I'm just gonna keep it. I'll let the buyer decide um, if they wanna swap it out. Uh, but I just really like this brooch. I never pass up animal themed jewelry. <laughs> um, and then uh, this fur clip, it kind of is very similar to the ones by Coro. Um, they made theirs as a duet. I don't know if they had two birds. I don't know if they also made single birds. Um, so it's not marked. Um, I don't know if this is like 1930s, 40s, thereabouts. Um, it does have a bit of wear to the enamel or paint. Um, but I really liked it. And um, I don't really, I don't know if I've ever sold a fur clip, to be honest. Um, I just really liked it. So. That's usually why I buy most things. It's whether I, every once in a while I buy something I don't like and then honestly it doesn't sell. So I've learned if I don't like it, don't buy it. It doesn't mean if I like it, it'll always sell. But um, if you try selling jewelry that you you don't really like, like I saw something yesterday and I was like, well, it's kind of cute. I know somebody would like it, but it was totally not me. And I just, I left it there. I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna buy it. Um, so this necklace is by Mikhail Negrin. And I have spoken about Mikhail Negrin in the past. She was a, oh, she is, sorry, an Israeli designer uh, who started in the markets in Tel Aviv in the uh, 1980s. And then she expanded her business. I think she had over 13 stores around the world. Um, I did go to her store in Boston several years ago. She has since closed her business, um, but her jewelry is very collectible, um, goes for quite a bit of money, and I love to find it. Um, it's all Victorian revival style um, and inspired. Um, so all the tags just say Macal Negrin, so it's pretty easy to identify. And the look is pretty, um, you know, you'll recognize her jewelry right away if you haven't, if you're not familiar with it or haven't already seen it. Um, and then even the back of the pieces are also marked um, Macal Negrin as well. So I'll hold these up. So it's getting a little bit uh, darker uh, here where the light coming, coming in a little bit differently through the windows. So um, Macal Negrin, okay the winter <laughs> not quite the same sun here on the east coast um, this time of year um, so anyway uh, last piece and I love this bracelet I've actually gotten this um, probably in September I think it's an annual an annual event it's one of my favorite ones um, and they have a jewelry boutique and uh, this was uh, definitely an artisan piece um, no not marked I'm pretty sure it's solid silver very cool geometric modernist somebody might call it brutalist kind of has a mid-century look to me not saying it's from that time period but just kind of reminds me of those uh designs or style um so that is everything so i uh, hope you enjoyed the video please hit like subscribe uh comment below let me know uh what favorite what piece you like the most or um if you have any questions or comments um and i will see you soon i'm definitely going to be putting out videos more frequently so i may even do another one this week uh, but most likely uh if not this week it'll be next week okay so i will see you soon thanks bye